Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch and on this uh, very cold but rather lovely, as you can see, uh, wintry Devon December day, we're doing a quick video on this uh, absolutely gorgeous uh, 2018 Euromobile, <laughs> it's hard to say, Euromobile Profila. <laughs> so, Euromobile are a big old German luxury motorhome manufacturer. They've been around 40 odd years and they build extremely well constructed German luxury coach built. I think they do a van conversion for Europe now as well but we never got that in the UK. Now these days they're part of the Trigano group, they're the German arm of the massive French multinational Trigano group um, but they're very much still built in Germany with a level of fit and finish which surpasses uh, most of the vans you'll see around today. In fact I personally very nearly bought a Euromobil myself a few years ago. I was torn between a Euromobil and a Burstner and there's nothing to split them on build quality wise so they're very very well built vans. So this one's a Euromobil Profila, it does have a number to that as well, I can't remember what it is. It's a lovely van, it's a uh, four seat belt, it's actually a four berth, makes a double bed at the front. Now the weight of this vehicle, currently it's registered at 3650, we have actually got a weight plate certificate for it at three and a half tonnes, so we can re-register it for you at three and a half tonne if you don't have a C1 driving licence, um, which is something we did for the previous owner but he never actually applied it to the vehicle in the end, so we can do that easy enough before you pick up if you want. But as it is, it's 3650, gives you bigger payload, cheaper road tax, but if you want it three and a half tonne, so you don't need a C1 driving licence, if you're over 70 or you passed before 1997, we can just re-register it for you. It's based on the Fit Ducato, it's 2.3 turbo diesel, it's got the bigger 150 brake engine and the optional six-speed automatic gearbox. It's only done 13,000 miles. It's had two owners, both of which uh, we know uh, very well. Uh, 7.41 metres long, so it's a typical full-size German touring van. 2.32 wide, pretty typical, slightly narrower than some. 2.86 high because it's low profile price. is an extremely competitive for what this is, 5495. I think this van at this price is an absolute steal in today's market and the reason for that is Euromobil are probably not as well known in the UK as your Burstner's the thing. So further up there we've got a Burstner of the same layout which is a really nice van as well. 17 plate, uh, it's not automatic, um, it's not got the Aldi heating I think which this one has as well and it's a year older and it's basically the same price. Um, so that you're getting sort of extra quality. Uh, for your money with a Euromobil, um, but in Europe they're very, very well respected. So looking at this one anyway, so it's had two owners, first one Bill, lives in Newton Abbott, uh, I sold him his new van, he just downsized to a van conversion, part exchanged this with us, uh, and uh, then we sold it to Chris, uh, who actually works for us, uh, he's recently retired, um, for medical reasons, had to give up uh, driving bigger vehicles and, and motor homes, and he was our driver, so um, he was well into his 70s, lovely guy, and this was his van, so basically we know the whole life history of it, which is really nice, and it's in, in super duper condition. Condition. So, based on the Fiat Cato, like everything else, it's got LED daytime running lights, it's got the black high gloss style pack with body colour bumper, we've got 16 inch um, alloy wheels which ride really really well with proper mixing of Aguilas camper tyres. The wing mirrors have got wing mirror protectors on, there's nothing you can add to this van really or very little, it is a very very fully loaded van. So we've got double glazed clear windows all the way around and this is front lounge, mid kitchen, then you've got a bedroom of low single beds and a lovely full width end washroom. So it's, um, it's, it's the layout which doesn't have a bed you have to climb up into, which is great because you don't have to climb into bed, but obviously you don't get the big garage space. But there's still good storage as we'll see as we go around. So you've got mains hook up. Uh, I haven't checked the number of leisure batteries, but it's at least one. I think it is just one to be fair. It's mains hook up, single leisure battery, but it does have a solar panel on the roof. There's a flat panel over the other side of the roof there. Fresh water tank, this is a double floor van this, so your fresh water tank and all your pipe work, your waste tank are all inside, so there's nothing to freeze up, so it's the most genuinely grade 3 fully winterised van you're going to find out there. You've got a gas locker for two gas bottles, now normally they don't come with gas bottles, this one's actually got a 6 kilo refillable gasset bottle in it, and that will stay in there so you can fill up with LPG gas, and there's room for a Calagas bottle spare alongside of it. This will be barbecue point I guess oh no external hot and cold shower that's that's useful if you've got dogs or you want to hose off if you've been to the beach or anything
kitchen window, bedroom window, and then under bed storage for bed number one. So say so you don't have, because they're low beds, you don't have a garage, but you've got two of these really big, and they are really big, they go right down there, under bed storage lockers that previous owners carpeted out. Um, but they're a really good size. You can also see here part of the radiator network for the Aldi heating. So you've got in this, instead of gas and electric blown air heating, like 90% of vans have, this has got the Aldi um, radiator system, which still runs on gas or mains electric. I've just put it on uh, myself running on three kilowatts of mains you can choose one two three kilowatts of mains uh, or you can have it as five kilowatts of gas or a mixture of the two so i've got it in my van and it is lovely so it's a soft silent ambient heat and then these these network of radiators and pipes run all through the van under the bed under the floor all around the van so you get a soft silent heat just like your house that comes from everywhere instead of having a blown air system that's blowing a jet of warm air there with cold spots here kind of thing so it is good uh, if you if you'd had a van without it you wouldn't miss it but once you've had one with it you wouldn't want one without Aldi heating so corner condition check can't get back around there uh, we've not crashed it that's our precision parking uh, there's no damage there no damage down this side of the vehicle so it's double floor front to the back so you've got storage under the floor and also that means, as I say, all your pipes, your cabling, your inch, um, your tanks are all between the floors. So you don't ever have to worry about anything freezing up. It's very, very cosy. So you've got mirror guard, slight scuff on that one. That's the idea of the mirror guards, protects your wing mirrors. Let's have a little look at the cab spec while we're up at this end. So it's a top of the range van, this. It's got all the stuff you'd expect it to have. So you've got Remis Concertina blinds on the cab side and front. You've got the chrome dials, which is an option from Fiat. You've got the six-speed automatic gearbox. It's a semi-automatic gearbox. Works the same as an auto. You put it in drive, it drives, does the gears itself. Um, but it actually has a clutch. It's uh, a well-proven gearbox. Doesn't throw up many issues. Very economical because it is a manual gearbox. Very simple. And if you like an auto, uh, it's better than a manual. Uh, but compared to, obviously, the torque converter autos, it's not as sort of seamless as that. But actually, it's not jerky at all. It's just like... A, you were changing gear yourself but you just don't have to do it so it's a perfectly good system so other cab tech wise we've got hill descent control we've got traction plus which are both options we've got a swanky accent head unit um, which does bluetooth i don't know if it does sat nav i'd have to turn it on to find that but to be fair these days your fix navs are getting a bit out of date anyway so Sometimes people prefer a phone mirroring head unit, but that's quite a nice head unit anyway. You should have a play with it, but if you want it to upgrade it, then you uh, then you could do. Come along here. We've got fridge vents for your massive three-way Dometic fridge freezer. We've got a full-length Fiamma awning, an LED awning light, another bedroom window, another bit of storage like the other side underneath a low single bed. Also in this side, you've got a... a um, 230 volt mains electric socket there which is good uh, you can access these from up above there's a gas ram there so you can lift it up from above Got storage back there as well not sure what those slats are for not too sure if they necessarily look factory fitted them then you've got another locker so you're not lacking in storage space it's a little bit green need to wash off this outside that's the time of year so you've got another locker here with your jack and wheel brace in it these mystery slats not sure what they're for and then more storage which you can also access from the inside which you'll see those padded storage baskets from the inside and again condition wise just needs a quick once over uh, with a mop and bucket which is all good going around to the back we've got a high level reversing camera that will feed into that accent head unit and we've got pre-fitted fiamma bike rack rails so it doesn't have a bike rack but if you wanted to fit one they just clip onto those rails you need a fiamma pro seal we can fit one for you corner condition check is excellent uh, there's your separate set toilet locker dump point there it's got a sog system fitted to it that's an accessory some people fit to the toilet that forces the air out of the toilet creates a vacuum in the toilet cassette and breaks down your your waste you don't need to use chemicals uh, i've never tried it myself but um it's a few hundred quids worth of kit or a couple hundred quids worth of kit anyway so that we won't check or guarantee the sog system but we'll make sure the toilet's working this little van will come with a cam belt change, it will get a major engine service, a new MOT, a full habitation service and our own industry leading 12 month warranty. So, coming into the van, 
it's a very comfortable nice place to be now they've built up the double floor that means you've got a low step to get in we've got a fly screen door it must have a fly screen door yeah and we've got central locking on the habitation door as well which is lovely and a little bin on the habitation door so you come inside and you'll see a very very comfortable very light front lounge which I'll go into in a moment but as you come in the door on the left you've got a very sturdy grab handle and we've got a really nice upholstered sort of perspex and cloth panel with some light switches built in some vents for your heating <laughs> a door that you can't open that's brilliant I love that you can get into that from above <laughs> underfloor storage so, oh, that needs to sweep out. But going right the way through the van, you've got these lockers for under the floor. Which the main thing with, with that is you can have nice warm feet as well. So, coming into the van, I'm just going to pull the, uh, pull the door to. So, say, front lounge. I love the high gloss cabinet work. Two, two tone. Oh, so you've got a nice TV up there. That's on a... On a bracket, oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's posh, isn't it? When I do these videos, I like doing the videos, and it's not just to sell vans, I just like looking around and talking about motorhomes, but also, it's not until I do the videos that sometimes I really sort of bond with a van and appreciate just how good it is. And this is really good, in fairness, to the, the funk and the quality of everything. Yeah, it's very, very good. It's it's certainly Heimer level, and I don't say that lightly because they build very, very good vans, and this is a very good van. And it's also very comfortable. So I really like this soft, squishy upholstery. I like the thickness of these bases. You can get in underneath of there as well for storage. You've got a fixed table. This area, the table will drop down, and then back here... There's an infill cushion, an infill base, and that lot can all be dropped in there and then here to turn that into a double bed. Now you might never want to do that. If you only need a single bed, you can just drop that table down, leave most of those cushions behind, or one of them cushions behind the thing with a leg on it. Um, then if you're not using this as a bed at all, you can leave all of that behind. And if you want to, change the tabletop. Because that tabletop's only that size because it fills that space. But it's a very manoeuvrable tabletop. You can move it around wherever you like. You can have one, two, three, four, five people at least sat around dining. I love this absolutely huge opening front skylight. And then you've got a big hecky roof light up here. Two seat belted seats. That panel lifts out for your travelling seats. Another... Uh, Another uh, big window there, plenty of storage, loads of these little spotlights, oh, they're neat, <laughs> LEDs all round. I love these strip lights up here as well, that's just lovely. And a flat floor, that's not easy to say, a flat floor front to back, which of course having a double floor raises the floor up to the same level as the cab, so you can do that. Now, kitchen-wise, it's actually very good for a German van because Europeans don't tend to cook so much in the vans. So we've got a big, very, very solid bit of worktop. Three gas burners there. Decent little sink here. These will somehow clip onto there. And loads and loads of storage. Oh, I wasn't expecting to come out in that direction. That's very, very deep. You can see there, and individual drawers all the way through. Opposite that is a tech tower, as the Germans call it. So you've got three-way fridge freezer. Runs on gas if you're not hooked up. Mains if you are hooked up. 12 volt off your engine alternator when you're driving. And on top of it is a little oven. Uh, it's just an oven, that one. It's not a grill. To be fair, for grill-wise, you can just get the, um, get the hob top ones for that sort of thing so there's no new problems with that but it's only little but of course the Germans don't want that so they just put one in for the uh, for the UK market I don't think that does anything up there no it doesn't so loads of kitchen storage you always carry an air fryer as well remember if you're on the mains at least it does have an oven we've got two plug sockets up there as well for a kettle and a coffee maker and then coming through to the bedroom. So you've got a solid door, so you can totally separate the bedroom for privacy. 
and two really big single beds. They're of excellent size. This one, I mean, that one's got to be, I reckon that's six foot. I'm six foot tall and I could lie down on there, I think. So this one's probably six foot four, which is really, really good. Now, TV wise, you've got your front TV. That TV will leave it in. It's an Avtex. I'm sure it works, but we won't check it or guarantee it. Um, the only thing we don't guarantee are aftermarket accessories sort of thing added on uh, audio electrical or frippery items but there is a tv bracket down here for a second tv which you could pull out so the other person could see it as well and you've got usb mains charger up there and you've got a 12 volt and tv point underneath plenty of high level storage cupboards obviously you've got storage underneath of these which we saw from the outside these are all of the uh, bed infills now this doobie here, that's an extra bit of worktop that you can drop in and what that does is you can remove these headrests if you're not travelling with passengers and drop that in up there so you've got an extra little workshop, sh workshop shelf. Wow it's hard to talk today. I love these little lamps, kind of remind me of a Pullman dining car from the 1930s but they're kind of, kind of nice. Um, We've got an opening skylight above, we've got a roof light as well, and two opening windows. And it's a very, very comfortable place. <coughs> it's in lovely condition. There's a light switch down there that controls the, all the ceiling lights all through the van as well, so you can switch them on without getting out of bed. And then, 7.4 metres this, remember, you come to a gorgeous bathroom. So you've got a massive separate shower, which is really, really nice, with a huge shower head. A bigger than average opening skylight for ventilation. Hollywood mirror, hello, really nice freestanding basin and a Thetford um, cassette toilet like they all have. We've got one storage cupboard there, one storage cupboard up here. You've even got a main socket which you'll only get in European vans like you'll only get in European hotel rooms. There's a radiator in your shower so to dry your towels if you want to dry them up after you've had your shower. Then you've got access to a big wardrobe here. So that little pink liquid there, that's the Aldi um, heating system liquid. So that's pumped through through the system, uh, carrying warmth with it. And when it's on, it'll be bubbling away like that. And when it's off, it'll drop down to the lower level and stop bubbling. So previous owners left a couple of little storage things in there. They're not standard. You've got a light up there as well and a digital TV aerial. So I think this is lovely. I think for 54 and i5, which I'm not debating is a huge sum of money but I think it's a it's a lovely lovely thing it's in super condition it's automatic it's only done 13,000 miles from new it's a premium German double floor van it's got Aldi oh look at all that storage there's two of them as well that's really big what's that down there it's an electrical thing there I'm guessing that's a solar charger or a leisure battery I can't see ah, I'll get under there um, yeah so we've got Aldi wet radiator heating, German build quality, 13,000 miles. We've known it, its whole life effectively, um, both owned by experienced proper motorhomers. Double floor, auto box, um, cab lines, aircon, cruise control, solar panel, awning, double din head unit that does stuff. Yeah, it really has got it all apart from the bike rack and we can fit you one of them if you want. So give us a call today, 01626, I've forgotten the number. Give us a call on the mobile, 07432 662 448. Oh, my head's frozen today. <laughs> or 01626 832 792, I think it is. Google Highbridge Motorhomes Devon anyway. Check us out on the Highbridge Caravans website and ask us about this beautiful 2018 Euromobile. Thank you very much. Goodbye.